Hey everyone, I was surprised how little I saw on YouTube when it came to ChatGPT and Microsoft Outlook. There were a few things I had to scroll down, but nothing had to do with creating macros or VBA code or anything like that. So I thought I could explore this and check it out a little bit. Okay, this is my statement. I'm telling ChatGPT I want VBA code in Outlook that tells me if I'm about to send an email that might have a social security number. This is the pattern right here, but also it could be this pattern too, just nine numbers. And I'm telling you, if uh, it detects a social security number, I want to pop up that asks me to confirm I want to still send the email. So it allows me to kind of check. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to put it right here for chat GPT. Let's see what it does. Okay, already it's giving us some code quickly. It's going to use some regex or regular expressions. And that's the pattern right there. That's the regular expressions you can see right there. And that's the message box. And there we go. That was pretty quickly. So it's telling us how to throw it in there. I'll show you too, but uh, it's pretty nice right there. It kind of gives you some context. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to copy the code. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit Alt F11. All right. Sometimes you see something on the left there. Sometimes you don't. If you don't, just go to View, Project Explorer, and what you want is this Outlook session. So if you see this, just go like that, and then go ahead and double click on that. Let's throw in the code. So I'm doing right click, paste. Everything looks good. I'm going to just X out here, and I'm just going to send an email. Um, I have this sort of dummy email I have here, so I'm going to send it to myself, test. I'm going to put a social security number, a fake one, obviously. Let's see what happens when I try to send it. Here it goes. There we go. I got it. So I'm going to say no. Let's try the other format. So just nine digits here. That worked as well. So we're just going to hit yes. Great. It worked. All right. So just one quick thing, if you close this, you might be prompted to save, just hit yes. And then when you try to open it again, you wanna make sure that you enable macros. So you see this right here, just make sure you hit enable. And so every time you send an email now, uh, that algorithm that we just made or the function will work. So there you go, that's one example. All right, this time let's try something with our calendar here. So you can see the meetings are either denoted by in-person, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams in the location. And I want to know which days I can stay at home and work remotely and which days I have to be in the office. All right, so here is my statement here. I'm going to give the chat GPT, telling it I want a macro. This is my date range that I want. I want a prompt for that. This is my definitions right here. So in-person versus virtual, which is Zoom or Microsoft Teams. You can always change that if you want. And then I want the output to be in a message box and broke it down by each date. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the code too much, but if you have questions, just ask in the comments. That's fine. This is mostly about chat GPT, or that was my intent at least. So anyway, all right. Let's go back here. And if you have the developer tab, you can get through that way if you want to, but let's not do it that way. Let's just hit Alt in F11. And let's throw in the code. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and hit Run to test it. We'll hit 4, uh, 18, 2023 to 4, 20, 2023. And let's see what we get. Wow, look at that. That's cool. So on 419, I can stay home. The other two days, I can't. That's pretty neat. All right, now what we want to do is create a button or some way to kind of just go up here and know that we can just click the button and find this out. All right, so you want to just click somewhere around here, right click, customize the ribbon. And then what we want to do here is, first of all, we need to add a new tab here. So let's go over here. Let's go to new tab. And we'll just say, uh, I don't know, count MTG, All right? 
and just say count for this part. All right, and that's going to make sense in a second once we add it. And so now what we want to do is go over here. Let's go to macros. And this is what we just made. And now we have this little thing here, and it's going to appear over there. We're going to hit add. Let's hit OK. See how that appeared? And that little count part right there. So it's a little section. Let's go ahead and run this, and let's see if we can get it to work. And by the way, I didn't mention this before, but you actually don't have to do 0, 4. You really could just do like this you want to it works just fine this time let's try to 421 2023 and let's see there we go so again this day and this day we can work remotely and we just click a button and find that so much quicker and some people you know you might have a much busier calendar than this and so this will really come in handy anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please watch some of the other ones if you could thanks for watching and subscribing and take care everyone